Hello, it's Gem Games, and in this video we're going to make an actor follow a spline, like this little cube here in the viewport. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to create the actor that will follow the spline. So let's right-click and create a blueprint class. Type actor. Let's call it cube because we are going to make it a cube. So let's open it. Let's add a cube. Also, let's select the default scene root and let's add a spline. Utility spline, not the spline mesh. Okay, uh, you want to check that the spline is not on the cube like this. It has to be on the default scene root. Okay, now let's go to the event graph. Let's delete everything else than the event tick. And now we want to create two variables. First one will be called speed on line and the type will be in a float now let's make it instance editable and expose on spawn okay let's create another one let's call this position on line and it should be also float now we want to get the delta seconds and we want to multiply by speed on spline okay after that, we want to add. And the value that we want to add is position on spline. Let's connect it to here. So we are basically adding every frame, the delta seconds multiplied by the speed on spline to the already existing position on spline value. And after that, we want to set the position on spline value to, to this value. Now I want to select these and press Q to align them. After that, what we want to do is we want to get our actor that we want to move, so the cube. And let's set world transform from here. Okay, now we want to get the spline. And we want to get transform at distance along spline. So this will get a transform by the position on spline uh, variable, by this way, uh, variable basically, or whatever that you want to connect to here, but yeah. Now let's connect this to here. Let's add a reroute, so it looks a little bit better. Let's change the coordinate space to world. And let's connect this to here. Now we want to compile, we want to save and go to the third person map. Let's move the cube to the level. Let's set our speed on spline to something like 100, maybe maybe not that much, like 50. And now we want to select the end of the spline and keep Alt pressed so we can add a new spline point. If you do without keeping Alt pressed, it doesn't add a new spline point. So Alt and drag. And now you can see we have another point here. And Alt and move. Alt and move, so we have this shape here. So now we can make this closed super easily. So let's just select the spline, closed loop. Now you can see we have this closed loop here. It's actually not perfect, so let's get a little bit better, something like that. And now when we play, cube will start moving. Actually, let's make it a little bit faster. So let's make it at 100. Let's see. Actually, I want to play on the new editor window. Okay, but there is a little problem with this. When the cube gets to the end of the spline, it will stop like this. How we can fix that? I will show you guys. We want to go to the cube and we can actually create a let's create a branch and we want to create a variable called loop. Let's change it to boolean and let's make it instance editable and expose on spawn. Okay? Let's compile, let's make it true as default. 
Now we want to check to, if we want to loop. And if we do, what we want to do is we want to get the position on spline and we want to check if it's greater or equal to let's get the uh, spline reference and from here we want to get the length get the spline length like this so we want to check if our position is higher or equal than the length of the spline so basically if we are at the end and if we are let's add a, another branch here we can also connect this to here also with end node but yeah let's do it this way and if we are at the end we want to set the position on spline back to zero so it will reset it. now when we compile save and let's actually make the speed a little bit higher so we can see it easier so now let's see it should work and actually it it, it will work like this yeah and now if you don't want it to loop you can just click here loop false and now when you play it will not loop anymore so you can make this work however you want but yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you liked what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.